I was recently a guest on Anarchast with Patrick Smith, and what a great host he is, what a great show he has. For those of you that haven't uh, watched that, check him out. Pretty incredible. And, and he's got this cool little techno screen behind him that shows uh, running questions that are being asked during the show. And someone asked a question that we either didn't have time or he was being classy and, and didn't ask because it is kind of an awkward question, but it brings up a, a very good point. And yeah, we might as well chat about it a little bit. So someone asked a question roughly to the point uh, to the effect of, okay, you were a cop for some years, Shepard, and you, you know, you spent 10 years collecting salary and costing taxpayers or Federal Reserve you know, loans, whatever it was, wherever the money came from. You cost about 100 grand a year for 10 years. It's a million bucks. You imprisoned people for victimless crimes. You were rough with people, arrested them, gave them tickets. You, you did all these nasty things. Yes, absolutely. I was I was wrong to do that. Uh, law enforcement should not be a, a government thing. Uh, of course, that's kind of I'm being silly. Um, protecting others should not be a government thing. It should be an individual free market thing. But I did participate in a bad system, and I take full responsibility for what I did. And so the question was, do you think it would be okay for somebody to now come up and kill you? because of what you've done as retaliation. Well, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm being a little bit biased on this, but I'd sure love it if y'all didn't. Um, I mean, you can do what you got to do, but uh, I hope you don't. Um, that's that's my pretty strong preference. I kind of like life. Um, but on the other hand, I don't know. Uh, I'm worse than some people. I'm not as bad as others. Um, I think I should get some credit for owning up to it and saying, hey, I'm sorry, I won't do that again. Apologize about all the bad that I did. Um, but, you know, some people have apologized to me in the past and I say, eh, you know, thanks for saying that, but you still mess me over and we're not even at this point. So I guess if if that's your perspective, um, I don't know. I, I, what do you think about people? What do you think about, let's take me out of it, because again, I'm I'm kind of biased, uh, in the, believe it or not, in this situation. But what do you think about the average person that that does things that are admittedly nasty, like health department officers telling people they can't leave their homes and all the suicides that the health officers in various counties and cities and states have caused? I mean, they've murdered manslaughter. I'm not sure what the legal thing would be, but if you if you do something that – directly leads to the death of a person. I don't know if that's murder, manslaughter, accessory. I don't know. But the people that have done all of these horrible, evil things, what if they apologize? Does that just immediately mean that, oh, oh, okay, you apologize. It's all good. I don't know. The fact that I've apologized, does that make it all good? I don't know. I think it might come down to individual choice. If I have harmed you, if I arrested you, and I don't even remember your name, it was so insignificant to me, shame on me, it was so insignificant to me that I arrested you, I testified in court against you, you did some time in jail or maybe even prison, you hadn't done anything to hurt anybody, now you finally got out, your spouse left you, you lost your business, you lost your whole life, and it's really messed you up, seriously? I don't know. Maybe my cheap apology online isn't enough. I I hope it is. But if not, then, you know, we each have to make our choices. And I'm sure not going to give you permission and say, oh, it's cool with me if you pop a cap in me. <laughs> like, I, I don't want that to happen. But I don't know where that, that line is. Um, if you're, and I know there are a lot of people out there that know a lot about guns and shooting and they're experts in these things. And if they bring one of their, you know, they have these big high capacity, you know, 357 Magnum Glock shotguns and such. And I don't know that much about shooting or guns, but if somebody decides they want to get one of those things and come and waste me, I, geez, I'd, I'd ask you not to, but I don't know what's right and what's wrong in this case. I, I think the purpose of this video is to ask you, what do you think? 
what would it take for people that had done bad things, child molesters, um, health department officers this, these last eight months, the people that have really messed your life up, the people that have been in political offices that have let them do it? Um, I, I don't know. Like, I, I'm, I'm not a violent guy. I don't I'm automatically think, oh, I should go kill that person. Obviously, they've harmed people. Obviously, you know, something needs to happen. They need to apologize. They need to stop. But I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I, I, again, as with all of my videos, you don't have to leave responses down below. It's kind of a personal thing. If you'd like to share it, that'd be great. But if you want to just think about it in your noggin, like I'm thinking about it in my noggin, uh, that's perfectly fair as well. I don't know.